go. And it is a beautiful day in the Chili Bowl, and welcome to the Boston Baked Beans program. <laughs> Good try, Vinny. That was so I, that's as close as I can do. I in a know. perfect I world, in. that's Vinny over there being funny. Yeah, it's slash somebody. Ooh. I've been EPG. Yes, I've uh, had to add PG to the end of uh, recognition here. You can decide for yourself what PG stands for. There's a lot of options. Mm. Ponder Gander is the uh, the main objective in uh, in uh, your own personal guidance. Yes. Well, thanks a lot for uh, all the hard shit Grim does with all the computing. Yeah. And you want to Thank say you. bots and bodies? Bots and say, bodies. Hey there, people. I like it. That makes me feel good. Hello, barman and. Uh, Barman. Ops, ops, please. Ops. Beetle. Beetle. That's one. That's one, sir. You've been warned. Two Cowboy Tech. Grimner. Grimner. And Cowboy Tech. All have the A with the big Grimner. Right Moose around. Girl. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've had to. Uh, I've had to add because I believe it was Rome's over here that came in and hugging Grimner the other day. So uh, I've I've up- <laughs> updated. I've updated him, and I call, call Gramner Big Papa because of all the wonderful things. Uh, I, I, uh, you got to be corrected, now. Vinny. Vinny, that was uh, Ch- mm-hmm. Chascura uh-huh. was coming in with all the, or, yeah, I think it was Chascura no, no, was no. coming in no. with all the love he for Grim. Yeah, it may be, but yeah, I've I seen it with my own up. four eyes. He, yeah, and and he's no, I saw this too. I, he showed up. He says, "Hugs Grim," and uh, Gramner says, "A handshake will do." And so, well, I've I've given him a, a added victim there to his name or handle that I've added to him. Uh, Big Papa Sweet Cheeks, I like to call him now. Vinny, you are a sick man. You Thank probably you. require some deep, deep, deep help. Look, who quit? We make fun of our Bostonian seller here, and there he goes. Just oh yeah, great. well you know what? Hans. You are number one fan, sir. It's I like to call him Hans Regretel. Ouch. <laughs> Preschool graduate. Thank you, Grandpa. Man, ouch. I'm a big kid too. Yeah, are you? So tonight's epic. Uh, wait. Tonight, well, we we left you? off you, the bots yeah. and bodies. We've got the the A with the long tail wrapped around. Mm. I got them. Then I got mm. anti and anti with an under score. Yeah. Yeah. Score. Woo. And the Tony. What about Echelon? Echelon. Could you be etching along? Yes. Absolutely, Grant, where's, sir. Where's Miss Grant? Miss Mary at? was, uh, d- well, she has some family thing come up. Because she, uh-huh. she, I invited her to the show tonight. But she couldn't uh-huh. make it. She had, we're conflicting. She's right in the middle of this family thing right now. So. Maybe next well, we'll, next time, maybe the dork table. We could always have coffee with Java Doctor, too. Java Doctor, too. Well, or a beer with Meister Brown. Oh, hey, there's Meister some wood man. Woody. Yeah. Yeah. Woody. He said, would I, would I? Hey, and the, the new guys that got the other show on Thursday night. Poop. 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 poop stir in France. Yeah. France. They, I yeah, think that's when you crap and fall back in. They're radio happens. personalities on the real liberty media dot com. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I right. see. I pays attention. Uh-huh. That's right. That, and there's Miss Kate and Rob Works and the, the fellow doing the reach around mm-hmm. uh hugs mm-hmm. is Rome's. Mm-hmm. The last uh, last uh, last count. Help, help, I'm being Vanna White may help you. She'll turn letters and change things around for you. There I am, one of me, the, the many Vinnies, the Vinny PG. Yeah. Yes, it's a, a cross, cross uh, between uh, me and the Ponder Gander put together. Ah, you know, right. Pre, yeah, preschool graduate. That's right. Come on, Vinny. A, you know, they already made a movie called Sybil about having multiple personalities. Well, it's actually multiple perspectives or personas. Oh, okay. Uh, per, uh, yes, uh perspective. These aren't like separate people in your head or anything, right? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No. Continue. Uh, continue. Okay. Well, then Weather Dork and Phantom. The Phantom. And Asmo 2. Hey, Asmo 2. Also, mm-hmm. yes, not mm-hmm. Asshole. 
Oh, uh, two. Right wow. Be nice. Uh, CC66 in Tascura. Tascura has been very quiet lately because, yeah, I was kind of like um, doing bad things to him in the chat. Uh oh. Were you being a bully? Yeah, I was kind of bullied him around. Like, wow, you're just a mean old man, aren't you? I, I uh, Yeah, it's a meanie, meanie, meanie. The yeah, real you, not that, not the outside <laughs> no, you. No, it pretend it was make believe. Yeah, he I was just yeah. beating him up with words because he likes words. Yeah, he likes to scratch you, and you just yeah, don't like see, to be the scratched. The problem is, mm. sir, is you cannot leave off at logic. Mm. See, oh, the whole story to come to the how things happen. Cirque, you can, Cirque you can took Hannah. All kinds of smart things. Yeah, Cirque right. took Hannah for a walk. Just warning. Uh, well, circle when you get back. Yeah. Lord, miss me staying. Did Boy, a this... great show, you and Grammy. Yes, they, yeah, they, they stepped do. in, stepped in yeah. at uh, noon central last Friday. They said both the time and location. That's right, noon central at Real Liberty Media Friday for the you know the Ponder Gander on pod where my voice is uh, mm. still not back to me. You oh. did a great job, Circle. Yes, Perspectums. Perspective. Yeah, and it has a website on that too. She has a wonderful mind. A great news. I love her. Wait, even where uh, she's wrong. Where, I mean, where we disagree. <laughs> Let Get that into your cyborg uh, noodle. Hmm. Is a cyborg noodle, what? I mean, yeah. is it like part noodle and part cyborg? You'll have to ask its creator. It's like, hmm, good question. <laughs> a damn Van Meter. Good day, That's Donna. Hello, Donna. And duh. You know, duh. Yay, duh. Duh's been hanging out lately. Yeah, yeah he's, he's one of them silly people that live way up in the frozen north. Now, you know, you really can't call them a Yankee, uh, these upper Midwesterners. So that, they're almost closer to a Canadian than a, than a Yankee. Wow. Actually, yeah. Boy, you're one racist, judgmental prick today, aren't you? You're welcome. And who's in left sense, in the room that you can't have an insult to get? <laughs> Well, you're right after in. There we I go. Like ah, you, good yeah, but you got all the civility that I've been exercising thus far, yeah. and slap you. You in got a whole show a for that. Cyborg noodle, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Don't act frumpy. Frumpy. Hey, there's good. You know, I, I I secretly suspected mm. actually an American, a living on the witness protection uh, program up in Canada. Yeah, he doesn't act like a Canadian. Yeah, oh, no okay. Argument. Now, now here we are in, living in Arkansas, but you're an expert on how Canadians behave. You know, there's right. 30 million plus of those Canadian fuckers. So but, that's only but 10% you, of you what know, America has. So I think but, we could squash them. We don't even need to build a wall on the north side. You we know, can just invade them. Yeah, we'll annex them. We'll make them one state. Let's let's put an end to this craziness of what they call them up there. Uh, not states, but they're like provinces. Know, they got territories. Territories, and provinces. provinces. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. listen, I don't understand. I will not pretend to understand the mind of a Canadian, but. You know, I think that we you just put did. a little Americanism on them. Oh. We can fix them. Oh, yeah. you're promoting the big orange. Yeah. I yes, see. I, I uh, think that should be our next war. We should go to war with Canada. Yeah. Winner take all. We could, no, 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 no. We'll no. sublet it out. See, we'll hire Mexico. And we'll, <laughs> yeah. we, we've already got a highway, I think, <laughs> international route. Yeah, we get now, you're part I Mexican, so I think you might have some type of expert advice to offer on to this. Yeah, I sure do. Okay. Well, we could Get ask the Brazil hell out, out of America if you can. That's my Didn't advice. I already say Java Doctor? How's Java Doctor but here? But don't necessarily go to Canada. <laughs> oh, he's got voice and not voice. That's why. Yes. Where did you Java leave Doctor? Off? Java Doctor. Jay's yeah, nice. Jay's yeah. He's a... Yeah. He's a... Uh, Scotsman. Hmm. I've, so I've I've heard. You, I don't know. What, what do I? Do you mean? want to take up under Gander under his kilt? You Hell no. But Mary well, Mary's all about that sport. Not me, you weirdo. Pon pon sauce. Pon sauce. Pon. It's, uh, there's no there's no vowel. Put a vowel in there then. I say pon sauce. Well, I don't. 
I'm arguing with you tonight. Whatever you. How do you spell pone? P O N E. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> what is a pone? How do you spell? I don't know. Do a dick <laughs> on it or a D. We could ask Raptor Jesus. I don't really. I, I don't really have two a. His, his arms are too short. Oh, to yeah. Him. That's right. Huh. Yeah. yeah. But. Real Donnie Woo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there's. There's shot puppy. Speaking of hands, short hands. Whoa. Who's got their hands up? His in his hmm. I don't Flim, know. Jim Flim or oh, smart ass, the uh, holiest Roger in ZP wow. DI X. Wow. And those are the entertainment for your reading perusal in the chat today. Anyway, tonight's show, Spy vs. Spy or can a bank own a politician is on the uh, 12th of November, 2019, Tuesday night. There you and go, I, Vinny. I would like to call it noodling caught in the chili bowl. Yeah, see, but I don't really know what that means, but it sounds kind of poetic. And you can use your imagination. Because, well, noodling, as I understand it, is catfish hunting with your forearm. And uh, hmm. that's well, as far I, as I, I can really drew get with part it. Part of it out of chat, the mm. noodling and the cod and all yeah. that. Uh, yeah, from the girls here. What yeah. does it mean, Benny? You're, you're, I can't tell you that because oh. then I would ruin the surprise. Okay. Well, yes. my first question for your uh, big old brain tonight, Mister, is this? Oh boy, who owns? And you got to tell me who it is. Who owns your favorite politician? That's a trick question. <clears throat> Why? It's I don't singular. have a singular politician. Well, pretend you. Okay, all right. Uh, Take two. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with Trump. <laughs> just, just off the top of my head, Trump. Yeah, because he's being impeached, or there's hearings on impeachment. Now, again, I haven't, I haven't watched not one thing. Absolutely, I've watched. As much Trump as I have the, the Greta thing. Okay. So and so let's like say that him. Trump is your personal favorite yes. politician in the world, right? Who do you Kushner think? Kushner is his handler, so let me answer right. this. Well, who you owns your answer. politician then, Sport? Who's, who's, who's Jared Kushner? I don't know. It's his son-in-law for one, but I'll, I'll give you a hint. Huh. Just think of huh. sock, a sock puppet. Not the sock puppet. Here's huh. a sock huh. puppet. Somebody got their hand in there, right? That's what a sock puppet is, right? Right, 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 right. right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Are you happy now? Uh huh. But so, what does that got to do with who owns your who owns Trump? Well, who moved from Tel Aviv to uh, Jerusalem? I don't know. I don't live in Israel. Who was there with his Hanukkah on his head and kissing walls and stuff? Trump? Oh, uh, when he was over so, there. Yeah. Who who owns? Now, see, a lot of people would think, oh, you're being anti-Semitic. Well, no, I'm not. Who's, who's the Semite, first of all? Right. And who is the apartheid uh, police state running the biggest open-air prison in the world next to America? Uh, except for we don't get bombed as bad and beat up. Well, you can, yeah, you got yeah. Overall, here. no, you're losing to the police. A thousand, a thousand people are being shot by the cops every year. It's either five hundred a year or a thousand. I might have doubled it because I don't like the police. You know, some people that get shot by the I think police Grim knows. Get shot because of their own actions. That's what you know. What it's still no matter what you say about this topic, it's an overreach by the state on my my opinion. So at because there's other ways to deal with this shit that they deal with that they create in the first place. So. Mm. Well, here's an answer to what pond is. Mm. You spell it P-W-N. Oh, you went back to the word. Okay. Well, no, Grimner did. Oh, Grim. Yeah, well, somebody did. I didn't do it. Yeah. There, there, there it is. You're praising. I, uh, I wasn't buddy. the one that was curious. Losing badly mm. at something or online slang for own. It's mm. a misspelling of own. Ah. The getting <clears throat> showed up. 
her own, embarrassed in public, in a public event by someone or something. Yeah. So you've been pwned. Yeah, but who owns Trump? Because Trump's well, got a lot of dough, right? That people well, would assume he's got like uh, ten billion bucks. How did he get his dough? Well, we inherited By being a welfare queen. Yeah, but that he helped. inherited from his family. First, yeah, time. he got his right. money there. And then, the, then they give this story about how he borrowed some money from his father to go into the you know, restoration of old buildings thing. And the truth of all that is, the banks. The banks backed him to do that in New York City. Oh. Yeah, he was so the bankers wanted it done, and he was the that, front man to take to take the yes. you know I'm the face of this new shit, but it was just the bankers trying to get New York City out of debt. You remember the uh, the the uh, seal on the bills before they've gone over to this uh, Federal Reserve note that actually you know come in a little more honest in the fact of stating who owns. The banking system, the Federal Reserve. You know, you used to have like these different central banks. You're you're giving me echo here for some reason. All right, did it stop? Anyway, so there was Denver and San Francisco and Philadelphia. You know, those are the ones where they uh, coined uh, money at. And, and then you have you know printing presses of uh, the, the Treasury that uh, they take uh, they take these notes, the debt bearing paper, and exchange them. At interest for uh, other pieces of paper from the government, you know, like guarantees. I was talking about this last night, and I asked my friend. I said, uh, "They was talking to baby." She said, "You can't even take your baby out of the hospital until you give it a name now and you know sign that paper paperwork, the birth certificate, and that's traded on futures, right?" Now then, you get called with these conspiracy theories when you talk about things like this, but certain things are facts, and are they conspiracy? I'm going to say yes. Yes. Yeah, they're um, both, but they're piracy. real. They're actually yeah. taking place. It's not like yeah. you're just talking out your ass. So who owns the banks? Who owns, well, who controls them? The Federal Reserve. You know, the, the issuing of this debt-bearing paper to uh, uh, in uh, when, when you increase the money supply. You know, you have contraction and expansion, and that's all controlled, right? Mm -hmm. and then the Federal Reserve sets the interest rates and stuff. And who are they? Are they Federal? Are the, is there a reserve? No, they have no reserve at all. They're not federal. So who owns the Federal Reserve? Who's in control? Is it uh, uh, who was it Bernanke at one time? Uh, who's who's chairman now? Uh, do do they answer to Congress or the president or to the people uh, or for their own special uh, interest? So who's in control of that? Really, really, really. Mm. Well. Uh, have you ever seen a diamond ad? What they're selling there, they call it like, you know, girl's best friend is jewelry. Actually, not in a lot of years because I, I don't pay attention to that stuff. Who Here. popularized the, uh, um, the exchanging these depository notes and then they faked them and uh, said they had more than there was really there? Uh, that's why we no longer have a gold reserve or standard or they're taking off the silver and all that stuff right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, who's in control of that? Well, it's multifaceted, isn't it? That's a question. What? What? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's just a statement. Well, it, everything you say is a statement. <laughs> without, without question, sir. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What does the chat say? I'm going to put my glasses on. Without hi, question. you said ha-ha. Yeah, because Grim was Who, being funny. I've got to look. Lemon tie? <laughs> oh, duh wants us to Ooh, talk about nice. Greta and Soros. But, uh, I, I don't have I mean, any, any I, information on yeah, Greta to even talk I've, about. I've got an opinion, but I talked to a guy in Sweden today that lives in Sweden. He's an American guy. And Ritz is from uh, Switzerland, isn't he? I'm not talking about where he's from. I mean, he's living in Sweden right now. And we were chatting oh, Sweden, about yeah. Sweden today. And he was telling me what his take on Sweden is because he lives there. I'm uh, trying to get the guy to do a little bit of radio with me. So I'm not going to give, give up too much. But uh, I would, I would uh, tend to agree with Vinny. You know, Soros is a 
some billionaire guy. I see his name on the internet all the time. I don't know him. <coughs> uh, Greta's a little retarded kid. They taught her to read, and they gave her a script, and they put her in front. Yeah, they put her in. Yeah, they put her in front of all the right people to uh, promote this stupid nonsense. Basically, it's like a like a church. And I make it. I did. I don't know. Did you? Yes, I did. But that's my take on that. It, it's par. It's probably a, a lot of it is true about what you know, who's funding it, and how they're playing this bullshit. But uh, what's it? It's really. It's just a product. You're a product of the media at some point with this crowd. It's designed to get you to pick a side, you know, be on, be on the winning side. Anyway, so, so Vinny, to, to, point point to, to get back to you, I take it that you were insinuating without coming right out and saying words that the guy kissing the wall wearing the Yamaha on his hat. He has a handler. Probably the sock puppet. Well, Somebody's got his hand up his... Uh, yeah, because if you've got $10 billion... Do you really want to go to a freaking wall wearing a Yamaha and kiss the wall? Or are you so obligated to keep your shit that you'll do it? That's the way I sit. Like, do it or fucking we'll kill you. They'll do it, too. Ten billion dollars is what I'm saying. No, no, no. There's lots of people that are worth a lot more than Trump is. That's not the point. How much do you think he's really worth? Nothing. Just like you, you, you or think, me. Zero. You think Fucking that uh, when he leaves the office of president of the United States, yeah. will he uh, do like the others have done that he's book deals, you know, like sell 10 million copies? <laughs> like who really bought all those books, you know, things like then getting <laughs> paid, you know, thousands of dollars to, to show up to uh, give a speech. Thousands per hour. <clears throat> I mean, the, the, the richer you get, you, when you start into office in any politician you start amassing uh, influence and power it, as long as you're going with a program I mean, you can't book the system right and move up know. The but it sounds to me like you think that uh, Israel owns Trump I'm going to say yes okay now I've got something else I'm going to bring up to you and it, well no it's a, a personal thing <clears throat> and I want to call it the do's and don'ts of self appraisal you know, when you uh, appraise your own your own being, yourself, and you tell, and you behave in public. But, you know, some people think a lot more of their self than they should, and other people think a lot less of themselves than they should. They, it's a very <clears throat> hard to find a person that's balanced in, in the self-appraisal area where... You're you're either coming off like a lunatic because you think you're God, or you're coming off like some you know s bit of snot because you're not as good as everybody else. So where you know how does what is the right way to appraise your own behavior and your own action? I think the general uh, rule of thumb for this, uh, most people would say there's two rules. Rule number one is they're always right, and rule number two is when they're wrong, see rule number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that doesn't sound to me like you think yourself a, a puddle of snot, okay? Uh, Maybe you're going the other way into egomaniac land. Let us ponder. Gander, yeah. Because it's, it's like perspectives, right? Well, yeah, because it's a decision you make about yourself. So, well, where does, what are you balancing with? You know, what are your own personal ideas? That, like, uh, let's use that space stuff. I think all this interplanetary travel, going to Mars, the moon, all it's all nice stories. Oh, 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 oh. They're very entertaining, but far from true or far from real. Now, other people think I'm insane because I don't believe what they saw happen on television. <laughs> Okay. I, right. I I don't. Well, that's, that's the whole. 
All right, but through all this, go to the base of it. But but through all this, I say there's there's right and there's wrong. But I have to appraise myself through this event, Vinny, and not pay attention to what the other. I can't ignore them, can I? Or like my stand on the globe. I don't know if it's round. I don't know if it's flat. I don't know. So people go, well, then you must think it's flat. Well, you can't prove it's round. So where are we? Arguing, uh, arguing. Plenty to uh, say that the world is round. But yeah, here uh, we go. But see, yeah. self appraisal comes into all these things when we talk to each other about weird shit. You're appraising your yourself, and you're thinking about yourself deep down in your crack, way back behind your brain somewhere. <laughs> and it does shit to people. Not all of us. Not. I don't think I'm. I'm part of that. Uh, I think I have been, and I got to a point where I see it better than I once did. You know, because I didn't have my good moments and my bad moments, but they're always what I want them to be, because it's me. You you get that? Well, yeah, that's uh, kind of what I said, two rules. Yeah, that well, yeah, but you're being smart and funny, and I was trying to be philosophical and wordy so we could do a radio show. <laughs> you making it difficult tonight, Vinny. I know. I'm what gonna, are you gonna cry. Do, I'm gonna cry in my cereal and then make you eat it. Do you think that it's uh, okay to kill a rabbit? Let's start right there. Absolutely, if you're gonna eat it. If you're well, not gonna if eat rabbit, it, no. What if the rabbit had a gun? Oh, yeah. Okay. It wouldn't be so fun, would it? Uh, yeah, Vinny. We, we did a show. Have we you been, you, uh, you so been in the mushrooms? Have you been in the uh, mushrooms again? I did see a guy. Who shared that? He was uh, arrested, and he was, like, tripping hard on, on the, was it the, the shrooms or the LSD? Oh, a big old smile on his booking. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that on Mines yesterday. It was like, wow. <laughs> He's gritted from ear to ear, but who knows? <laughs> Who, who knows? Is this I'm so freaking high? But could it could just be a meme somebody made up with no sure it yeah, did, yeah yeah. So we're getting a little bit of entertainment on the internet. No? Uh oh, you know that drink brings to uh, mind here something that Grimner shared with me, and uh, I made an address. Mm-hmm. I've not investigated to see what his allegations are. He says, uh, "What's his name? Leah." Heard hmm. is that supposed to be leopard? But yeah, I think that's a play of words there, Leo. Leo, and he heard. Well, who runs your Facebook page? Says this person. It is pumping out low energy fake memes at the moment. <laughs> I I I've not been to Facebook in a week probably. Anyways, here's the what I had to say. We have some hosts and other folks that add content. You may add comments as you see fit. You know, I scribbled my name in there and typed. But uh, you can find me, Vinny, RLM Radio, and Vincent Easley the second, and who I am. Uh, are you're you, welcome to judge. I I enjoy just criticism. Are you fighting again? But I mean, again? you've got to have, you've got to give a little bit more than this. This is almost pumping out a low energy meme of his own there by just the statement. Yeah, by, pretty much. By yeah. making that definition, what is the low energy? Self appraisal, Vinny. This is what I'm talking about. Me. Right, and so, right I mean, now you're doing this self appraisal thing behind all the other stuff you're talking about, right? Right, by his it, words. Yeah, and it affects some people in ways that it doesn't affect others. And well, that's what I was put getting a period to. At the end of the yeah. sentence, yeah. That, and I think that the periods are important. How does it make you feel? I mean, does it make you feel something, or are you just talking about it? There is a difference. I, I'm taking a think and a look. I'm looking and thinking. Yeah, but is it affecting your like your feelings where you go, ah, oh, you don't no, like no, me? No, uh, no, uh-uh, so. no. Okay, I, I some people. If you want to be critic, if you want to criticize, you need more than. Uh, just saying, <laughs> saying smart things or trying to sound smart. Mm-hmm. The same things that appear to be smart. What other people might have said. Yeah. What if where he got that? You reckon that's a parroting <laughs> progress a process? Of... Grimner. <laughs> I got well. I got to come back. <laughs> he got you. <laughs> well, uh, that's my question. What is uh, it? It's ridiculous. I mean, because they're all fake. That we live in everything we live in 
that's electronic. It's it's representing real. It's not real. That's for you to do, you know, person <laughs> looking on to decide. But what is real fake? See, you can, but you can't decide for me how I see the world, Vince. And I, yes, I can. okay, there you go. See, I will you, slap you in chat. <laughs> I will, I will bring down the wrath of the bots upon your ass. Then I'll question whether the fucking thing's a globe. Just to I've get got, to do I've got to go. I've got to go with the uh, what's the guy uh, on Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need a meme. Uh, I can get oh. one. I, I I can get a meme yeah. and put it on you. Oh, don't. Real quick. I would appreciate if you didn't. Ain't no fakey shaky going on here, buddy boy. So uh oh. So right Let's now, see, more, so, on, well, on the self appraisal uh, scale, you're at egomaniac plus right now. Vince. Me? No, yeah. at PG. PG. We no. have to have. Uh, some uh, pre-approved guidance. <laughs> pre-approved guidance. Are you back on loving the state again, or what? Love me a long time. What What would you do without Mother State? Oh, you know uh, that would affect me uh, greatly, would it not? I I, I think it would. It would. Yeah. So, yeah. But okay. But as we all understand, it's collapsible. They can do whatever they want. They can just. Stop tomorrow. No warning, just end it. it could, See, well, then what? Well, my problem is, is we have what we have, mm. and is corrupt, right? Yeah. So yeah. we can't yeah. just like do away with the whole thing. It just can't be done. It's no. not possible in any form of reality to go from one spot to what is into a spot that is not. Oh, you're you just like, making this. It's not an omelet, and you can't flip it over. Oh. Okay, well, no. so now we're going to enter the Chili you Bowl. you got to go Wait a minute. In there. It, yes, the, the Chili, chili Bowl. Yes, bowl Tales with Uncle Vinny. As right. Now, that, now we're official. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got to do is test the recipe, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I can tell the tale of where the Chili Bowl tale came from last night, but I was eating a big old bowl of chili. Maybe I just put ants on it. And I got down to the bottom, and you just got chili sauce all around it's like it uh that's a terrible story Vince. (laughs) you've made you've made yourself clear by not making yourself clear (laughs) very well done thank you i don't know that self-appraisal see self-appraisal stepped up and shut your mouth for a change (laughs) go figure can it really usually you're like you're like mary no clutch just say whatever the hell you think and for once, and all these, finally you slow down. And I'm going to make a liar out of you. Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but you are. No, it's too late because now you're just Listen, you're just, just changing my... gears. You're not continuing I... anything. He's a big old boy. I right? caught I just... you. <laughs> you been over enough to get chili bowl. Reminds me of you. He shot himself one time. You know, I just imagine in my mind. Oh. <laughs> wow. So whole... Yeah, but oh, you're even you're even kind so in your explanation there. That was <sighs> very mean. I thought you'd be meaner more. than that. Mean, mean, yeah. mean. mean. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, it was very funny at the time. Trying to be a PG about telling it, it uh, it loses a little of the uh, the the sharkiness of uh, the snarkiness sharks. Yeah, snarky sharks. Is that a, is that a thing? Snarky sharks. I have no idea. You might need to ask Mary about that one. She knows all the weird words that regular people don't pay attention to. How do you do that? Do a dot W-A? Is it or a, a turkey snarks? I don't know. What do you, I, you're asking oh, the wrong person about no, typing Grimner, something into, Oh, yeah, well, Grim, but you're not going to hear it and see an he answer will. for a few minutes. And oh, no, there it, it is. There it is. Yeah. Hmm. No results. Hmm. So is your world perfect tonight, Vincent? My world is always perfect. It's not semi-perfect or near-perfect. It's perfectly perfect. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> honestly, we, we talked about you know, a lot of uh, the vibrational frequency. and Grimner might call it where uh, uh, the synchronicity, hmm. uh, I've, I've seen him call it. Um, I, I just love the way it, it lines up. I mean, that yeah. comes from not... Uh, uh, you know, you've got to, it comes, I think, more in feeling sometimes. You get more in tune. You, 
uh, what kind of tunication would that be um, in the universal sense of the uh, the wholeness of it? You know, being matter, product of vibrational frequency. I would say that it's a matter of recognizing friction. Because uh, sometimes things appear different than they truly are. And people misrepresent shit with words. Like, say, uh, they're selling you something. And they don't tell you that it's been previously owned. And something in deep, deep inside in it is already fucked up. But it'll work long enough to get it home. <laughs> if it's pre previously owned, couldn't you call it uh, free or free? Well, I was just using I it mean, as... I mean, somebody a, liked it to have it. Right? But I was using it as an example of a way to lie to somebody with, without, see, you know, where people don't expect to be deceived. And I think well, there's a, a, a lot a more, there are a really? lot more people that do daily transactions and business that go out there to do their shit that are less, there, there's less of them expecting to be fucked over than there are people that go out and, and trade. But there are a lot of people that they check their items on their little, you know, takeout list from the uh, grocery store to make sure that those kids didn't write something on, add something on they didn't pay for, that kind of suspicion. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about. No. Wow. Where do they do that at? The, the, the grocery store. List? Yeah. Any oh, grocery when they store I've ever fucking been in. When well, they check your receipt. No, right? when the person that gets the fucking receipt stands there at the end of the, after everything and still and itemizes the list. To make sure they didn't get, you know, something even it's still 20 kroner from them or something. Hey, you got to watch these people at checkout. <laughs> you know, you used to have an expectation of, uh, well, the honesty. I mean, they, they're just stupid, a lot of them now. I, I, you have people checking out at Walmart that do not understand the concept of properly bagging your purchase. No, nah, we do that. There's, We do that on our own here. You know what? They I don't refuse. Bag. I refuse to ever, Ooh. ever, ever use that self checkout. Yeah, but you know what? Not. They got most of their cashier people that work in retail speak multiple languages. So not here. Well, right. I'm not talking about where you're at, sport. I don't. I don't live there anymore. <laughs> it's been but a you while. Know, there's a few, yeah. and and when I figure out where they're from, because I know a few words in a few languages, and so especially like uh, the Filipinos. Uh, if they, uh, it's like they're always very surprised. It's so simple, you know, based on Spanish. It's like almost like ah, it's not spelled like Spanish, but uh, yeah, how are you? And then the car. So do you do you, know, do you recognize friction always, or do you ever mostly. get? Do you, well, like in federal court, you saw that coming. You knew what they were going to do. What if you didn't? What if you didn't expect what you saw? Well, Things how happened it, that yeah. I did not expect to see. Uh, oh, you never said very, like that very before. Very miraculous. I mean, it could easily, it could easily yeah, yeah, be yeah, described yeah. as yeah. miraculous and as signs and wonders in so many ways. Well, without saying anything. I should be writing stuff down. What does that mean, though, Vince? What does what mean? I asked you, you know, did you recognize this friction that was coming at you, or did you know it was going to happen? And you said, no, it was a surprise. Yeah, what happened to the bungees? I, I what were you stuff. expecting that you didn't see? I never expect them to ever walk out of uh, the, the custody of the uh, federal government, oh, ever. Well, yeah, that's ever. because they got deep pockets. They can stay in court forever. And they will, too. Okay. Just to, just yeah, to that's fuck not you. over. It is no, not over. it ain't you far from over. The cattle uh, uh, are still out there. Um, I expected uh, an attempt at Roundup in the uh, in the fall, which uh, uh, it's kind of gone right on into winter. But the, and they wouldn't by, wanna, by the they wouldn't want to duplicate the uh, um, this, uh, that hard Roundup they did in 2014 in the spring. You're talking about the Fed coming in and taking the cows. Right. Okay. Because yeah. I'm not a fucking rancher. I don't know. You got to be clear with well, me, man. I'm slow. There's still court orders that uh, you know they they've used these uh, federal courts to manipulate and in uh, steal and based on lies too. And you have the non-governmental uh, organizations involved, like the 
Center for Biological Diversity. Yeah, they'll just bury it. In 10 years from now, nobody will be alive that was there anymore. So the game will continue. Well, I would have expected them to play out this theft. Uh, usually that's how things happen. Uh, well, it has been very uh, uh, incremental uh, through it all because mm. you, know, you go back for decades and the uh, um, how people see the world has been uh, manipulated in so many ways, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that That's uh, I, watching TV and my friends this morning, the news, and, and it was like, is this news or is this that uh, they're selling? Like Disney came out with uh, um, a package, uh, a package deal wrapping up. Uh, I don't know who all it was, anyways, because they have all these uh, uh, like Netflix and and uh, uh, what was that Hulu and I don't know. There's a bunch of them, right? So mm -hmm. they said you could get all these and it's going to cost you seventy dollars a month. And then people got internet and their phones and all that. I mean, used to they was like pumping out propaganda for free, and now people proudly pay to uh, propagandize themselves. They're, all they were doing is promoting Disney and the uh, Viacom, and uh, have some big goober. Zilla was in here talking about them uh, this morning, so I don't know if he was seeing TV himself. I, I normally don't watch television. I only see it. Uh, yeah, television. me neither. I watch movies on services yeah, I do, or something, but... Or sometimes the uh, reruns Listen, of the old shit on uh, YouTube. You know what I I like to do is uh, I like to listen to uh, audio books. It's uh, my favorite thing to have going in the background. Yeah, I like a movie, and it keeps well, the, it, it keeps the animals kind of calm too for some reason. When there's some action instead of quiet, they're more you know, animal. There was a dog that was found. On, well, that was on the news page. They named mm -hmm. it Miracle. It came out of the rescue down the hurricane down in Florida. No, where was it at? I forget. Uh, somewhere I down know. in the uh, Bahama or somewhere. Down there. Mm -hmm. uh, RLM's talking to me. Yeah, well, I'd um, still like to know how you recognize friction. If you don't expect it, what would you, you know, how would you recognize it when it hit you? And the thing that struck me was that court thing, because you know, how could you know what to expect going into a thing like that in the first place? The only only from seeing in movies and TV would be your only reference, unless you knew lawyers and hung out with them and went to court and saw how it really works. Well, let me tell you a little story, mm -hmm. and that is, uh, I was in the bath, went to the bathroom, and there's uh, not Ken Ritter, Ritter, a uh, writer for the AP. Uh, there's a Smith and a reader. And I mix those two guys up. But anyway, so I go, would, I never would have believed it, just paraphrasing, uh, that she did. I think I asked him, would you believe that? Do you believe it? She let him out. And I said something like I never believed, you know, because I didn't. I didn't expect them, any of them to get out. But things started uh, unraveling for the, the state. They are so used to being so blatantly evil and dishonest that it's like, well, we did it. I mean, I've done it before. This is uh, Steve Myrie, uh, the head prosecutor, the uh, AUSA, appointed the uh, U.S. Uh, attorney. Uh, evil. Evil. I, I've seen these people. They don't have no regard for, for truth and justice. It is all a matter of manipulating um, material and facts and omitting where, where they please. Uh, I, I see the results of people that have bucked the system for many, many years. You know, Ken Ham, uh, a pastor, uh, a creationist, uh, not Ken Ham, uh, Todd Gunn, I slipped up, give the wrong name. That guy down in, uh, Florida, forget his name. Yeah, I hit, they get him on tax evasion or whatever. There's usually a, a tax evasion charge. Bruce, uh, Doucette, they had, uh, uh, IRS stuff in there that got him with, uh, I was watching some show. What was it last night? With uh, who had a, a court courtroom, and it was uh, they get to go in there and tell the story as they will with uh, no actual facts. There, they, they get to write the script in a sense. It's uh, 
the real corrupt way of these courts were these uh, federal courts. Well, that's uh, how how Anthony talks about how you know the, the corruptness of the, that's uh, why they the do bar, it. Bar association. That's why they make the movies and shit that they make. Can you imagine going all Jack Nicholas? What's his name? Nicholson in a fucking courtroom? You would get three words out, and before you did, they'd have you in handcuffs. They uh, they removed people like uh, yeah. Eric Parker from the courtroom, but for what? Just allowed his testimony. Says you can't say words like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, defense, uh, man. Uh, yeah. Well, see, that's the problem with uh, trying to explain to somebody that doesn't have any experience with court how court really works because they've got their preconceived notions or they've been to like a uh, traffic court or some bullshit like that where it's, it's different. Let's just say that. I forgot to, uh, to let folks know over on this other channel here. But okay. still this my question, and I guess it's a bizarre question, but sometimes, uh, things are, are Hovine, Kent Hovine. That's yeah. Don't think. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. I yeah, but switch. yeah, Dan, Donna, remember. But sometimes, you know, you're looking at something and it, it doesn't feel perfectly okay, but it looks perfectly okay. And and that's what I mean about that friction that makes you know something's not right. But you look at it and you can't identify it by seeing it like a court. You've got to actually get in there and physically experience that for yourself. Some le level of uh, state or federal court to really grasp what you talk about on the radio with me, I think. And I've only had the luxury of state. I've never made it to federal court. Thank you, Donna. Yeah, it's Kent Hovind. Mm. I, I spoke with his daughter by telephone. Ooh, years ooh, ago. Hovind. <laughs> and uh, I do believe that uh, uh, Thomas Lockovar Stewart has uh, interviewed him. Uh, you, you could do it. I could do it. Mm. Oh, let me make a note here. Okay. Uh, I'll do a search there. I'll also, I'll go back and look for the Starbucks logo that you and I uh, yeah. sort of talking about. Um, hmm. Can't hold on. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. My question died about three minutes ago. Well, it kind of all ties together in, in so many ways. Right. But you have to hear the whole show to really get it, I suppose. But you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Where things yeah, look okay, perception. but they don't feel okay. So mm -hmm. that means some part of you is looking at something and there's a friction there to be recognized or you wouldn't. It, it's all up to the person looking on. I'm a sure lot of people are tuned out, though. They, yeah, they, I'm uh, sure there's, there's a lot of tunage pollution in a sense, too, that there uh, are being people bombarded that went to the same court you went to and have a completely different ex, uh, way to express what they saw than you do. And you That's, all saw uh, the same fucking thing. But you saw that thing from your own perspective. And that's the part where you can't get people to, to really sit down and rationalize that idea. We don't see the same thing the same way. None of us in the first fucking place. Oh, you know yeah. Most it, people see it. No, you know, I don't. I the, don't. How that's presented to them. I mean, most people don't go into the courtroom and. Oh, yeah. Like, that's uh, what I was harping about, Vinny. That's what right? I mean. Is it. If you don't know from actually doing something, then stop being an expert in that field. You're just, you look ridiculous. But see, the one, but the first time I say to somebody or doubt, oh yeah, the world's round and roll my eyes. I've, I brought on, I mean, there, there's a never ending source of argument right there for nothing, over nothing, over a statement I could just be fucking around with just to see what you'll say. How does the person hearing me actually know what I believe inside at the core of my being or whatever the fuck that is? You know, what, what I really truly believe might be different than what I say. And I well, think that, and I, and I think it's just because I think differently is the problem. It creates On that. Purpose? No, it, it's just the way you I know, think. You know, you could be the problem. Yeah, it creates the friction that exists there because I don't care, and it doesn't really matter, but it bothers people. I, I think it, we could all get along with just a whole lot better if you get with the program and just accept it. Yeah, right? oh yeah, I know Stop that. Guarantee, yeah. 
Just do do what, what I'm told and be yeah and all that. But you know what? Nah, I ain't gonna do. It. I'll tell you I'll do it, but I ain't gonna do it. I'll do as whatever the absolute I have to do, and anything after that I ain't gonna do it. If I don't want to do something, no, nah, ain't gonna happen. And I've managed to survive here in Denmark without learning Danish for a, a number of years, and the people I see regularly. They're fine with it. They don't seem to bother them one way or the other. Because you can't pretend to be part of this culture. It's different. It's like a tribe. They know each other. You know, They know their they, own kind, so to speak. Are they weird over there? Not, not so much weird as they are distinct. It's a unique experience. It's not like anything else I've ever lived in. And then the, uh, I talked to a, a, making a friend in Sweden, and we were having a chat today about Sweden. And uh, wow, his his perspective on Sweden is not it's not good. I wouldn't say. And he wants to get out of Sweden, but you know, life sometimes doesn't allow you to choose where you're going to stay. Circumstances choose it. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, you got to have some allowance. You have got a the ability to to make choices or total freedom and not give a fuck about any of it. Well, sometimes you want to uh, watch your path, right? Yeah. Well, I'm married now, so I have to you know, I have to behave myself in, in a fashion that's acceptable to society, or Cirque would be gone. She wouldn't be living here. So you know, because I rep us when I'm out in public, so I, it matters. But I don't think that the people here give a shit whether I speak in their language or not. Not really. It's not a big thing. Where it was a huge thing in the States. Well, oh, you don't speak English. You know, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't care so much. All right, I found your Starbucks. The logo? With the, yeah, with the boobies. And the See, that's tail. what I was saying. It started out very... Century. Yeah, and then they softened it over the years to disguise what they what they represent. It's horrible. But then again, how you know, it's all a matter of how you interpret that particular bit of information. That picture must strike me as terrible for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but I don't like it. Well, I found uh, from uh, creativepool.com, and here it is. Uh, is that a pair of boobs on my macchiato? Did you put a copy on the main feed for the no, I'll chat? Get it now. You should, so I'll they know what we're, you're talking about there, Sport. Are boobies offensive? Hey, To some people, down, are you kidding me? Down. Yeah, some people are just fucking ridiculous. Yeah. What's the difference between male and female? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean one lactates. <clears throat> they say that if you ever heard of a guy lactating, I think I heard something. Uh, I don't know what it was. One carries a human being and pops out, <laughs> pops it out after nine months. Another one doesn't. Not always nine months. Okay, fucker. Ha ha. Oh, I shouldn't have closed that. Where was it? I had a beautiful... Oh, yeah, I know where it is. It's on Grammy Mary's. Let me go get it. You know, it. you're making me 420 already. Crazy. Thank man. you. Yeah, no, you're driving me... T- I might have enough. Okay. You're driving me to the pipe, you handful, sir. But... Well, anyhow. So so this idea I got. Life. What would something be? What, what would it take to recognize that what you're looking at is not what you're seeing? Because that's what that's the uh, that's the message we're we're pretty much carrying on Real Liberty Media is that what you're looking at is really a performance, and what's really happening would make you ill if you accept it as true. It would make you freaking panic. And then there's old timers well, like Rob Works and Grimm and yourself, who you know Mary's been around now that have experience with this and understand what it is. And new people don't. 
And there's no hey, age limit to it, Vinny, either. It's a matter of just personalities, I think. Well, what do you see here? I'm posting that in the chat from Grammy Mary. Bonding 101. She's a, what a tiny, tiny little thing. Thanks, Rump. Tiny, tiny little thing. Okay, you lost me. Well, it's in Grammy Mary's Twitter. Oh. It's, a, wow. it's a, what do you call them, little videos put on there? I try to not open videos when we're live anymore. Well, you don't have to. You can. I see know the that. Picture. You can just look at the picture. Really? You don't need. I can. I can okay. play it. Well, let's see. Uh, how precious what you got the, here? The teeny tiny little baby. Uh oh. A baby what? Uh, oh. Baby. It and is. a daddy. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Who's kid? Is, is that? that? It's it's. He's obviously the daddy. Well, whatever. Y'all can look at that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I okay, done. Well, you, you it brought to mind when you said that little bitty baby that nine months and uh, I guess they all don't wait nine months sometimes. I that didn't. Baby, no, I was I was early too. I was a premature, and way back when I was born, it was. Huh. Anyway. I'll, I'll tell you what I I started it on a cold winter night as a sparkle in my daddy's eye. Well, and that's the story they told you, anyhow. Yeah, well, there's more to that story. Because everybody else on the bus was screaming when he... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a true story you, about that. You've heard that, you've heard that joke, though, right? <clears throat> no. I want to go in my sleep like my Uncle Ernie, not like the 12 passengers in the back of this bus. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the story I had in mind. About the screaming in the back of the bus. The story from 1985. Uh, yeah, I did a Greyhound sucks uh, search. Star. There's like uh, millions of uh, hits. I Google suppose. It. Nah, I I don't want to Google anything. I stopped Googling. You know what I do now? You squack. Mm, you yeah, quack? yeah, yeah. I'm I'm on Firefox now, so. Yeah, I don't like Firefox. What's there to not like? I don't understand Because it that. does stupid things. It does? Oh, like the updates? I don't know. Well, I gave up on them. Wow. I only use it for certain things. Some things I have to use it for, like uh, a Chrome extension that won't let you do... Uh, I don't think you can download videos from like YouTube. Yeah, i got to go to Firefox to do that. But you're a Googleite? By day, yeah, yeah, uh, it makes life so much easier for me because they yeah. do a part of my thinking for me, yeah. and they take out the silly results like uh. you know things that matter, and, <laughs> and you got to go look it up for yourself. Really get more little in depth, hmm. yeah, that sort of thing. Well, we all know how good I am on a computer, so let's talk about something I know. <laughs> I can turn the thing on and off. And I can push a few buttons, but when it comes to the coding and where to find the the little buttons to go to to find the answer that you're looking I for, I hate buttons. You know who's really good at that? Huh? Grimner. Man, He's great man, knows how to, But see, it takes. So I think it's the way he thinks that helps him do it because uh, he seems to know w what direction to go. And I see a bunch of questions that I don't know what to do with. It. And he goes through the questions and finds the question he wants to answer. <laughs> nope, that ain't that. We'll try this. <laughs> but he's logical and you know organized about it in his, in his way. It's kind of fun. Listen, I have but, a, a thing over here with a red dot in it telling me that I uh, am missing important um, updates. And I was like, I don't never push update. Never. What? Is it Windows or is it on Firefox? Let me look at it. I yeah, Windows. Is, I hardly ever Windows update. Ah, you're not up to date. Nah, check, you don't. Agree. Probably don't need to be up to date either. There's it's ways around it. Important security and quality. Fit. Oh like, yeah, yeah. I won't can't push it. spy I'll on you. Get one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah <right. laughs> Where you need to sleep in the other room. We can't see you at night. <laughs> I could just put up a penis <laughs> pic. Uh, <or> something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Wallpaper. <laughs> Well, I've rolled this successfully. And are you bragging? 
Yeah. He yeah, can I roll, hear, everybody. I, oh, he's a rock and roller. What did you do? Did you load a bow? Yeah. Why? Uh, of course. Uh, well, I'm fixing to light this thing yeah. up right here. No, Cirque, hey, it's always 420 somewhere. Cirque doesn't mind me smoking a pipe, so I smoke a pipe. Oh, you're smoking tobacco. No. Oh, good. I was being I sarcastic that's... about my wife allowing me to do what I'm going to damn do, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> so. I understand that there are two rules involved in this also. Two rooms? Rules. Rules. Yes. Yeah, okay. and the first two you mentioned at the beginning of the show. No, these are different. These no, are different. then I don't want to hear them. You can well, talk, I've got to but you anyway, yeah. you're gonna do one of two things. Nah, 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 nah. And, yeah. <laughs> what what you're what you're told and what you're allowed to. In the long run, yeah. What 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 you do that doesn't attract the wrath of the state. It's the same thing as permission, I suppose. If you're gonna look at it from that light. You know, permission yeah. by definition is uh, pain to uh, break the rules. Pa- basically. Well, see, okay, you might know the verbal definition better than I, but I know the the living experience of this shit for me. You know, it's like I've never been shot with a bullet, so I don't, I can't tell you. Oh, I know what it feels like to be shot. Oh, 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 oh and it's like I've this. Been, I've been shot. Okay, but all right, but I haven't. But I have been. Cut. I didn't even kill it. See, there I've you go. Stabbed. And I've been cut with um, objects of penetration, but never severely, because I guess I'm just small and hard to catch. (laughs) You know, you got to really be fast to get. Even now, I'm an old man. So uh, how do you, are you guys getting the the current chili bowl? The current chili bowl? I don't know what the current chili bowl uh, would be. Is it cold over there where you Oh, at? where we are. I don't what do you yeah. consider cold? Well, it's got cold here last night. All right. 20, can I do a can I do 11? a weather? Let me, let me see if I can do, do a weather here. I think I, Cirque does. It. Well, Moose Girl just did one. And I don't want to uh, Hey, Moose Girl. Yeah, it. but she did she one did. and it didn't come up. So Where's she at? In the RLM chat, Mr. No weather in Mooseyville. Grimner posted that. So I did a we. Huh. No, I guess Cirque, I thought Cirque had it entered in here or something. but I don't know what the temperature is. I could open up a local weather thing. I mean, look, I think I'll do that while we're stalling here. Uh, weather. Oh, there she is. I was like, I don't see Moose Crew. Yes, she's there. Uh, Grimner's dropping me some uh, some links here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna open them up before I got them there. Ew, is that what's going? On? Oh, yeah, weather location. Something. See, you was talking about oh, Grimner. Claire. Bam. Yeah, he pulls out the uh, solution. Right, because she put put it in and it didn't come through. And there it is. See, yeah. see, see. That's why you go to Grim. Anyway, it's uh, four. Mm-hmm. Fahrenheit, or uh, 4 Celsius here today, which would be uh, 38. Is that, do you consider that cold? I do. I would much rather be in the house than outside of the house. Because outside of the house, it's 38 damn degrees. <laughs> I don't see your, you're not getting your weather location coming up. Oh, I didn't post it. Here, I'll just post a copy of the 16.9 is cold. 16.9. A high of 21, that's cold. Oh. See, I got mine off quack, quack. That's your problem, see? That's right. No, it's not my problem. Ducks are evil, sir. No, they're not. Anybody that participates in the quack, evil quack, duck quack, 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 empire. Quack, 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 quack. I like ducks. I will just have to oppose you here, sir. We are in uh, definite disagreement at last. Listen, I have two rules for ducks as well. But they taste <clears throat> good. <clears throat> Killer capture. They really don't even taste good, honestly. I, uh, 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 that's, don't tell me I what I like. Uh, wow. 
I think Vinny. Yeah, you, I think Vinny bumped his head again. People, do you you remember I ate up at the Virgin River? I don't know. How do I know what yeah, you, you did? Remember, I told you. Oh, was, yeah, I remember what Kaladunga, you told me. Caladunga. Yeah. Yeah, Caladunga orange duck. Ah, uh, yeah, your duck story, but still, you're yeah. still out of it. Ah, so you don't like it doesn't mean it's not good. That means you don't like it, you butt nugget. Stop telling me what to do. do you know I don't want to follow I your have, path. I have uh, two rules. What? See, more here we go. More rules. Yes, Vinny. I like the two rules. It's an easy. Yeah, easy to remember, simple yeah, solution. Still ain't going to do it. I ain't well, going to yeah. do it. Kill or capture when it comes to ducks. Kill or capture. What and about fun. live and let live, you butt nugget? Just let well, it be. Well, if I'm capturing them, I'm sending them off to rehabilitation. Class, <laughs> you know. You're a cruel man. You you need Thank to be you. stopped. No wonder, Listen, it, it, no wonder Hans likes you. For your own, it's, it's for your own good. Exactly. That's why Hans likes you. Because you're nuts. And you probably deep down got this thing for taking over the world like Pinky and I, the Brain. I, if, I, if I was the ruler of the world, it See? would be a wonderful place. How? Be great. Like how? Because everything would be right. Oh, and I stopped keeping notes at Friction. So you're on your own here. Oh, well, I've kind of failed tremendously in that aspect today. I only have like three lines. Well, that's life. Pal, or four. I don't care. Yeah, three. You three. do what you do. I'm gonna do a flash somebody note report. Cool. That maybe um, it wouldn't be me. It would be you doing it though. So uh, I've got. To, I'll have to go pull a link or two. I guess. Or <laughs> Signs and uh, wonders. The Bundy Ranch, yeah. and I got Kent. Kent Hovine, not yeah. Kent. Kent oh, okay, Hovine. You're, you're back. And Tom Lockavar. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm you know, putting down things here for notes. And I got the Starbucks logo. Yeah, this. yeah. Is that the not... The Booby Barista. Is that not wicked? I mean, just... Hmm. Is that a, is that the right use of the word barista? I don't know. Booby, bar, booby bar, 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 Barista? Is that right? I don't know. How, what are you asking me for? I didn't I'm not... I, I'm not asking. Well, who are you asking? You're talking to me. Know. Oh, you you're didn't not have talking? the answer, so I'm not. I'm not talking to you because you oh, didn't. Oh, well, I need answers, sir. Ops, ops. Where's Beetle? Attention, Earth. Vinny needs answers. Attention. Says, uh, yeah. Squirrels are the one you got to watch out. That's for. what I read. Exactly, word for word. But you know what? I don't care. You know why? We don't. We don't seem to have an abundance of squirrels here. I don't think I've ever seen a squirrel here. Where we live. Donna says there's a noticeable absence of any mention in the Bible, and uh, absolutely no mention in the Noah's Ark. Squirrels, squirrels, you know they are very distracting, and I think uh, now they're probably in league with the uh, the evil Duck Dynasty. Maybe they're aliens from another. Planet. No. Don't be so hey, do you believe in time travel? Uh, yeah, I'm traveling through time right now. I, I don't mean in the time sense. I don't mean it in the sensible sense. I mean it like I going, my rod, going back into the past or going forward in the future and returning to the present kind of crap. No, you don't. But you believe that you went to the <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. But you believe huh. that the United States and China and all these idiots went to the moon and did shit. But. I don't think the America landed in 1969 in July. Uh, no, I think that was fake. I really do. Uh, because they were in this space race with the Soviet Union, they had to win. Um, and I, I don't think that, uh, I don't think they successfully, I believe there's a lot of evidence that suggests that that was fake. I really, really do. Hmm. Uh -oh. Why? I'm trying to okay. write. You now, there we go. A couple, a couple of years ago, Cirque's nephew was like 12, 12 or 13 at the time. And he was running around the house mocking about how America had to pretend to go to the moon <laughs> in English. And wow. the kid does not like to speak English at all. He does what? not like it. He don't like it. What? The fuck? The same reason I don't like Danish. Because he I doesn't like it. I think fuck. you both should be forced into Speaking the alternate. See, you, yeah. there you go with your hands yeah. full of crap. I would probably yeah. you know, waterboard the two of you. Maybe you might <laughs> you waterboard the <laughs> 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 I, I could, I could yeah. change your mind yeah. very quickly. 
Right. It, Rather easily, I might if add. You could, if you could catch me without having a stroke. You're not cooperating. You you're not a child be. anymore, Vincent. You know, you're, 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 you're still being a Come bully. Yeah, you're a bully. You're bullying me around on the radio. In a perfect world, even. Uh-oh. We've got a goofy moose. Hey, somebody's talking to me. Oh, i got a red dot on the wire. Burista, <laughs> si señorita. Let's, let's, can we do a UD that? Let's do UD it. Mm. UD. That means urban dictionary. Dot UD. Budista. That is quite sad. No results found. I don't know what you're looking for. Oh, no, it's Ark. No. No. Budista? Yes. Oh, what what is Budista? You can add that to a yes, it's a, a boobie cool thing. word. Yes, from Starbucks, the the booby booby barista. Oh, that's the I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where that evolved into, and then signs and wonders, I guess, obviously follow that. All right, but I mean, if it if its origins <clears throat> are that nasty and, and and you know insulting to some people, then what makes the present version they got any any different? Because the onlookers already. See, feeling that friction about it. Something bothers the person looking at it. That's the whole point of these logo things. Either you recognize them and you use it, or you recognize them and you avoid it. Two choices, like your, they don't uh, even have like your rules. Huh? They don't even have a uh, dot .com for Boobista. Uh-oh. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. Who do you think it? That's like... A name you could sell right there. Well, then sell it. Like, Make some right? money and get out. Yeah, you can get out of debt. debt. No, nah, I'm not in debt. Oh, well, you could get into debt. That, I don't that's, 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 how, that's how people think uh, of success, is you're in debt. Then, then you're successful. Ugh, I always see it well. the other way. Yeah. I'm living it, and I'm telling you, I see it that way. Debt is a freaking debt. Yeah. It's not something I treasure. It's something I tolerate because Cirque wants to live in Denmark. There you go. Did you hear that nut? Yeah. That sounded like you dropping your nuts. No, that was hitting my, my roof. It's a big yeah, nut. that's what I just said. Hickory it was sounded like you dropping your nuts. The tree. The tree did it. The tree Hickory dropping nut. a nut on you. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that's what oh, I uh, meant, but I didn't. Say let's it. do a death, dot death. Let's not. Dot death. What's that about? Dot death. I found Definition. a dead squirrel in the yard yesterday. Mm. Was it tasty too? Oh, yeah, I was uh, right. Barista uh, is a, an employee uh, of a coffee shop who prepares and serves coffee or other beverages containing coffee. What's that got to do with a boobista? Because it's a smash word, sir. Smash The booby, booby, barista. Boobista. You're Bar- adding... Boobista. Boobista. Well, now you're Boobie just barista. really Boobie. confusing. All right, look, we'll take it slow. And you wonder why I smoke when we do radio. Starbucks logo icon. This is what I have written down. Booby barista, and so, Donna came up with a great smash word. So do Boobista. you guys like this logo, or do you dislike this logo? Why does it bother... Why would it... What... Do I need to do a side by side on this? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if it's pleasing you or not, sir. You're spending a lot of time looking at it. Well, that this site that uh, this CreativePool.com uh, says that how Starbucks came up with the rudest logo on the high street. Oh, okay. The one I shared there earlier. Hmm. I don't Let care for him myself, but whatever. It says uh, it caused a fair amount of controversy since the brand launched in the 1970s. That was something else I heard on the TV today, this morning. It was Kelly Rippon, and somebody says oh. to her, oh, my God, you're from the 1900s, and I'm hearing myself in the background. Echo, echo, echo. No, that's just your ego, ego, ego. On my... Uh, Probably label, on your label, headphones. Label. Yeah, it's, it's. I think it's the stuff on the headphones, but it doesn't uh, pick up on the recording. Actually, 
that's my personal input. There you go. Well, you're not a siren. You know, I, I hope that Pence backs out. You know, I thought of a great guy to replace Pence to make the second Trump, you know, four-year thing more tolerable. You ready for my ticket for 2020? I'm kind of scared, but go ahead. Trump and Stallone, 2020. Hey. Hey. Can you imagine Donald, Donald Trump? Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> wow. I, I think I think we'll really really be a, a really great uh, knockout pair to go. Uh, we're 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 gonna take it from DC to Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> they got the the dumbest brick out of New York, Trump, and, and he's running America. So, that I think Stallone would be a step up. <laughs> It would be a big splash, and that's like a mermaid or a siren with a split tail. Uh, it never made sense to me how a, a, a mermaid without a split tail would ever entice a sailor to his uh, watery grave. I don't know. I'm not a sailor. I couldn't answer that. Huh? I don't want to be a sailor. The Internet's doing this stupid stuff. Probably. Well, but, uh, you you would have to eat spinach, of course, and were you I, a sailor man. Now, That's I've different. been on the water, but I don't have a particular fear of it. I just don't have a love for it. I can live without it. So what about Popeye and Stallone? What if we team those two up? Oh, Popeye and Stallone. Mm. Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, could you just see Popeye? Popeye? It's like what you got now, Trump. Trump-eye. <laughs> Trump-eye. Trump-eye. <laughs> Trump-eye, what a man, what a man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, do, do, do you do you really feel he represents you as a as a life form in America at all? Uh, I, I choose to present for myself, sir. I mm. do not lean, uh, no. Well, out. how do you cope with the reality that you know? No matter how you slice this cake, whether you believe it or not, like myself. First of all, still sir, Trump is the still cake wait is a lie. Yeah, but Trump is still sitting as the POTUS, right? How does how does that make you feel as a living carbon-based life form. I really don't let it affect how I feel at all. Well, does any of the the decisions that he makes affect your life at the level that you're at? Yeah, and with the inconsequence. Like financially, right? I'm writing in. The bread is a lie, sir. Well, I mean being more specific, like his, his trade war with China. Does that physically affect you at this level yet? (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Grimner says, so that would be Trump and J. Dredd. <laughs> wow, Grim. <laughs> uh, good luck. <laughs> Stallone, J. Dredd. It's the same it. character, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Donnie says, uh, seen Rocky? Sorry, man, can't help you. <laughs> Rocky 15, coming to a theater near you. Yeah, he's in a, in a walker. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> He's fighting. He's got a robot. <laughs> He's sitting in a wheelchair using I th- remote control. I think control that's Rocky fight. 23. Yeah, some like. Well, yeah. Cause we got people on the reallibertymedia.com that are rooting for the robots. <laughs> 23 and me. Oh, you know what? Uh, what? This, this is. I've ever write this guy's name down. Mark yeah. Picari. Yeah. And he he always makes these mm. allusions to mm. uh, I welcome my whatever. Uh, overlords, whether it be the, oh. uh, they, yeah, I was showing the, the the ones that look like leopards, oh. cheetahs. I think they're cheetahs by uh, DARPA. Oh, and in other words, any, anytime there's something like this uh, idea of a dystopian future, he, he offhands it by saying, "I welcome this dystopian future, overlords." Mm. This sort of thing. Yeah. But this guy's a real, real big. And this is distracting hearing me back there in the background. What's going on? Can you all hear that downstream? Or is it just me echoing back into my side? What is the problem? Um, yeah, so this uh, proposed future for the peoples, not only America, but the world. What are we going to have? Do we, you welcome the overlords? Mm. No, I don't think I recognize it on a 
daily, you know, basis in my life thing. You know, it's that's how what I think of government as that overlord shit that I just avoid. Doesn't really interest me. Mm. Okay, that really made an impression on you. I, I I'm writing. I'm writing. Yeah, well, you know, I uh, I, I think I got to I gotta add. More. I really believe. What about the bread, though, man? The bread. What about the bread? The bread can mean a lot of things. Yeah. Food bread and green. Cash bread. Well, yeah. well, feed, right? Feed, yeah. So what about it? A lot of people think it, think that wheat bread and white bread are different. Mm. The bread is a lie. <laughs> the just bread just is like a lie. the money. <laughs> just like everything else. It doesn't matter what it is. If you, if you, do a little reading on what it is you think you're so pleased with. You'll find out you're wrong. That's what I found out. Well, if so, you don't like the wrong answer, then look and look and look. You Google it up until you get the answer you want. Yeah, but I can find any answer that pleases me on the Internet. Well, That's, yes, if you leave off at large, you can smart word. Can somebody answer my question? Do you hear me talking in the echo here? Because I do on my end. Back into my earphones. Yeah, it's 420 somewhere. It's always 420 somewhere. Uh, Why do you even mention that? Because it's my thing. Oh. Can I get it in time? I don't know. Do you have to? What happens? Do you you lose your freaking medical card if you don't? It's terrible. Yeah. Ah, I missed it by a minute. Oh. I don't care. It's only in my head. Wow. Yeah, that's the point. Two guys are sitting around one day and they go, hey, what time is it? We got a double double. Hey. Barry and. Where do you think time started? Hey. I smoke with God, Vato. It's just just the tree of life. You you started time with God? I I know. I smoking. I said, who's. Fumando, marijuana. Who who created time so that we could create, you know, keep track of shit? Where did all, where did all this where did all this genius come from? Is what worries me. I, I'm afraid it was in a bottle. A bottle. Yeah, you got to remember it. now. The who, same who? people that created yeah. time are the same people that created taxes. Hold on, what? Hold on, time? Yeah. Come on, it's measurable. How you have first of all very very easily. Who same. created time? Very, it, very easy. It's now, very, how how very, do you? Who made the watch? Okay, Zach Timex. No, no. Well, was it? A, was he blind? Was it a blind watch? Made? But still, oh, I think not. Two guys sure. were sitting around, and they just went. You know what? I think it's time. How many? How many days in a lunar month? I don't know. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. According to you, maybe you're no. full. So, but what do we got? We've got time divided. Twenty-eight divided by four is seven. And That's a week. what is That's your a point? Week. That's a week. Now break that down. You got days, right? then hours and minutes and seconds, and you can measure on yeah. deeper and deeper with yeah. an atomic clock, I guess. Yeah, because eventually you're going to find out that you're you're not even accurate perfect to perfection. You're off. Always you can get off. pretty pretty close. Then I mean, it's bullshit. No, then you can't get pretty, pretty close. No, That's sure. Nah. I mean, don't you? If just because you don't rubbish. Measure to the ten millionth of a second. Rubbish. Right. Rubbish. Just crap. Uh, Just crap. Uh, and a bunch of words assigned. Hey. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. You're nuts. <laughs> Thank you. But welcome a, to the the timekeeper overlords. Will you personally welcome? As does Mitt Pitt Carry, Mark Pitt Carry. No. We'll personally welcome uh, no. the dystopian overlords. No, that's crazy. I'll leave his name out. I'll just say welcome. Mm. Do you welcome? No. They just go I'm over totally them. scared now. You've got me frightened. You should be afraid, sir. Oh, I am. I'm Mary, shaking in my boots. Shaking. And you know what else I forgot? What? To relight this thing. Mm, you Have bad. You you're a please. bad Vinny. He's a bad Vinny. We need to punish him. Look. I'm strong to me finish because I smoke me finish. We need to lock you in a room with Hansel. Hey. I play the smoking man. You and Hansel in a chat room for a week together. 
you listen, you know, some people would say that waterboarding is cruel and unusual punishment, but I think, sir, that you've gone overboard. You're welcome. Now I'll just have to live to, and to find a way to implement my evil torture upon you, sir. Fear and judge dread in the chat room. Do I like it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's funny as hell, isn't he? <laughs> Hey, he's going to go to war with everyone. What the hell is that noise? I don't know. My Did wife just it? came in the house. I don't know. <coughs> no, I didn't hear. I got my own life over here. I'm living. I can't hear the crap you hear in your head, you weirdo. I can only hear the crap I hear in my head. I'm funny like that. <laughs> You're funny. funny. Yeah, well, you like to let people tell you what to think and how to be and all that. I don't. I like to do my own shit. I don't. And I figure you. it like this: even if I'm wrong, at least I don't. You know, at least I ain't doing what you're saying. I don't saying. believe you. You're oh. just making stuff up. Oh, okay. How can you even say that? Okay. Can you substantiate such claims, sir? No. It's well, all a matter of. Per- it. It's a matter of Smart perspective. Smart words don't make you funny. Well, I don't think that you could do what I'm doing any more than I could do what you're doing. You know, it's a matter I, of I don't, personal I don't taste. Well, I'm not doing what you're doing. I'm not living in Arkansas. It's not pronounced Arkansas. I, I pronounce it that way just ops, because I ops, like to please. hear you complain. I will get Beetle. Ops, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what bit don't of... Don't say it again because I will, I will push more buttons into yeah, I'll call for what, I will. What bit of dirt you park your balls on really doesn't mean a squat to people. They just think it does. It's just crap for us to hear. It's not important. Listen to it this. doesn't even matter. That, that was a sound of silence. But for I'm your serious. listening pleasure, <laughs> I think it does. Uh, anyway. I don't think that in a week you're going to remember. I don't think in 20 minutes you're going to remember the conversation we just had. So, what do you say? There you go. Point made. I ding 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 ding. I win. You don't win. See, that's how well, we do it. Do you we talk. Smoke your spinach, sir. No, I do not smoke my spinach. I'm strong I, to the spinach because no. I spoke me spinach. Do you really? Do you know how to spell spinach? Oh, I'm going to respell it. With a spinach. computer? Spinach. <laughs> With a computer. Like it? That's how I do it. Spinach, yes. Yeah. Do you smoke and mirror your spinach? Uh, no. You like it? Absolutely you like it? Absolutely not. I like it. I smoke don't. Mirror. No, I thank you. Oh, no, yeah. Shout out to Rob Works. Smoking mirrors. Mm. But you got to spell it right. I didn't spell it. No, I said, I mean me. But I don't have to because, like, I purposely misspelling that word. I you think, like it? I think Duh had a nice way to explain what you do with words. The kick is a lot. Put all this in. It's like you've taken a dictionary and you've torn it all up into little pieces and you throw it up in the air and you just grab pieces and put no, it back no, no. together. It's, and it's not that simple, sir. <laughs> I that was simple. I was paraphrasing another person's opinion for your listening Who's pleasure tonight. So first of all, hmm. I'd like to know the name of that person who said that. Duh. Duh. Yeah. My Duh. buddy Duh. Are you Duh. calling me stupid? Why do you say that? Duh. Uh, Is it that uh, 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 uh. Vinny... <laughs> I'm going to have to ask for uh, <laughs> uh, Channel Off. Uh, what do you call them? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I would never bother with any of that crap. I can get a bot if you prefer. For what? But what are you going to do? Yeah, we do something to you. You're going to get a bot. Yeah. You want me to? Do what? I don't even know what you're going to do. Well, just watch, sir. Hmm. Oh, you're going to assault me on the internet site. I am. I got I it. Am. I feel That's it simple. coming. Slap, bam, bam. What do you get? I got a, uh, launches a MAU-5 what? What head in flash somebody's direction. What is that? I don't That's know. That's lame. I don't even know. <laughs> is that supposed to be a mouth? <laughs> a mouth? 
Mouse that, head? <laughs> I don't know. Mouse five head? Wow. <laughs> you like rice with that? Mm. <laughs> Sounds like I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm not even That's sure a what lot, a mouse yeah. is. What do, you, I mean, what do you do with the head? I guess you launch it in some really general direction no, because that's what Vanna White has done. I'm not she slipped off a little bit. Where did she come scared. up with this stuff? I'm scared. You're scared. Somebody help me out here. Ops, ops, please. Uh-huh. On this one. Wow. See? Vinny's trying to abuse me on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Yeah, but I'm not sure what I've actually done to you, if anything. Nothing. There's You've just missed. Yes, you Catch just it. misspelled a few words and you look foolish. More fish. Nobody's going to get it. Uh oh. I don't fish. I don't fish, don't shoot ducks. I'll get it. But you do, because you're a duck murdering psycho. Oh, that's a, that's a fish. It's more fish. Mm-hmm. Ah, sorry, Charlie. You so, just slaughtered dead from now. Were you oh, born maybe a. Maybe you're like more five head. Yeah, but were you Ooh, born you a duck murdering love psycho? Love or did you I, learn uh, to be? Listen, I would. I'd like to tell you a true story. The way back when I was just a youngin. Were you attacked no by a more, vicious duck? I, I was no more. I reckon eight or nine year old, and I was going out into the field hunt. I expected to catch me a rabbit. Ooh. But guess what? Lo and behold, oh, I see these two uh, big long men fly side by side through the air, coming in the pond there where I was next to. As they come a gliding, fixing the light upon the sh- on the water. No bread. I didn't cast any bread there. I shot and I cast lead upon those ducks and I killed them both with one shot. Just a boy. I did. Okay, Mickey Mouse. Seven with this one is a real swat. True story. Huh. Yeah. Can I get this? One? I Can saw I seven with Can one I get them? swat. Come on. Ooh, how about that? I have killed nine ducks and that, sir. Oh. Paint, but the Vin ETG is tonight. Yeah. Killer capture, I say. Two rules. Yeah. Uh, we, we've that heard that perfect about you. Talking. You know, uh. I talk about this. What? What Grimner calls synchronicity. Mm. We call it vibrational frequency. That's oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, just things just come together like this right here, friend. Mm. I mean, it may be not such a great example. The, the greatness uh. of synchronization the sound yeah. coming together and making what you are, what we are, where you go, and what you do with it. Uh, yeah. Killer capture. Really? You're you're all gung ho like some kind of marine with this crap. Or are you just no? Fun? It's uh no, it's esoteric. Really, it has to be evolved you know, layer by layer, uh, resolved, and yeah, un unsolved, uh, involved, yes. devolved, in a sense. So. Are you becoming a lower life form or a higher life form? I'm just a bit lost. Going towards a non-life form. <laughs> You're going to die end, on us now? Yes. Oh, well, well yeah. In, in the end, we all die now. Or do we? I mean, if if we were perfect, we'd keep on living. Would we? Or maybe well, yeah. the living if is the punishment perfect, part. Perfect. You know that what do they say your taste buds change every seven, seven years, or is it you know your cells are replaced with new cells, and that your body one day loses its its ability to uh, reproduce properly? Hmm. Yeah. More good news. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Uh, and and just like that duck right there. Yeah. In the chat room. Well, you know, look. What are you going to do when a duck flies through the chat room and says? Go on, shoot me again, I enjoy it. I'm sure. <laughs> Unless I'm going to capture it and try to through its sorted mind. Right. Yeah. Can you do that? I don't know. I hope not. I really, really <laughs> hope <laughs> what, Waterboarding? Well, you know, it'll give you answers pretty quick. Or tearing off fingernails. Yeah. Just imagine how quick yeah. you would want to tell somebody what they was wanting to hear. Uh, if they, they were tearing your fingernails off. Yeah. Okay. Could you resist? I don't think so. But not. Nah, I could. But how though. could you depend on whatever the person screams? <clears throat> could could still be bullshit. Well, you still you, depend you on the keep person. it pretty hmm? precise and consistent. And no. early on, I mean, you can't you can't like carry this on for days and like 
No, and they're going to say whatever you want, whatever they expect see. you want to hear. Well, all so that right away. Listen, if I if I really wanted to know something, yeah, yeah, I would want to waterboard you. I just say let's go ahead and tear off the finger now. Oh, and you know what? Before man. you even get over there with them flyers, you're gonna be so oh, hold on, hold, we don't have to do none of that. Mm. I tell you whatever you wanna know. So we need do you enhance like sit up late at night on the internet and discuss this or is this just your own no. renegade idea? Well, if well, you didn't no, get approval the from the state, then you're just wasting my time. <laughs> I, I can send in a request for him. Oh, I know. Uh, I can you. probably buy permission, yeah. a license, if you will. Yeah. yeah. To do what? A license to kill. To kill. To kill, my good man. Ooh, yes, sir. Like a James Bond, or a license to kill. Hmm. You like it? Oh, what would... I want, well, I've kind of amused myself with. I wonder why they won't give me a license to kill. I've applied. You're not responsible. I've applied, and they go, no, we we don't want you to kill anyone. But 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 here we are. Of all things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't let me in the military, so I could go kill people. So there we go. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Let me join. Me neither. I was like, wait a minute. I'm, I'll kill people and shit. What do you want? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Not <don't> you. <laughs> we want to teach you to be a killer. But not yet. Yeah, they they don't only kill yeah. the yeah. You have to be told first to kill before it's okay. Exactly. To See, be sanctioned. Yeah. What time to sanctioned. eat? What to eat? You know, how many times to chew your food? You name it. <laughs> state. Mother state. Is that an SOS? To who? I don't know. I don't know what you, you know mean. An SOS. That's an SOS, <laughs> SOS yeah. I, yeah. It's not what a I thought of. To kill. I, I yeah. A license to kill. Yeah. SOS. If you had a license to Bending kill, who would you kill? Uh, yeah. You know, you, you would have to sort them out. Slowly, I think, possibly. You or just kill them all yeah. and let God sort them out. I don't yeah. know. What if God doesn't What's want to sort them out? Me? I don't I don't care. I think, yeah. I don't have a concern. If the world blows up tomorrow, it was fun. I had a good time. But I know I'm not going to sit around all night worrying about it happening. I'm just. What are you going to do when you die, sir? I don't know. How could I know? I'd like to uh, have my funeral. Mm. Like, like to go to it. Mm. That would be fun, right? Your funeral. Go to your, own, go to your own funeral. Go to your own funeral. Wow, you're crazy tonight, aren't you? Why would you want to do that? Hmm. I don't know. It'd be like fun and stuff. Like really, then you sit. Oh, you mean like a. Uh, <laughs> You think that would be, wow, you're a cruel man. No, I wouldn't do that. Not really. I probably well, you're the one that said it, so you probably would, what? you weirdo. Yeah. How cruel. Okay. Wow, you're just like the cruelest guy I think I ever met. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Hey, would you like to uh, join the program? No. I, I don't, Wait, we've got a I don't join programs. No, I'm a... One of those people that says you will and doesn't go, yeah, I'll do that. And then I go, well, I no. meant to do it, but I didn't do it. Want to be a responsible citizen? No. Uh-uh. Not even for a fucking what? minute. Fuck you and your citizens. That's why. You know that the more you give, the, uh, the more you receive. Did you listen to uh, the Circle of Broadcast? Was no. you there sitting with her? Right? Yeah, I was sitting next to her. Huh? I was sitting with her. Yeah. When she so you was couldn't heal out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Plus, I live with her, so I know what she's saying. Uh, I just check. What are you checking? Are you going to give me a test? I'm checking whether you've been naughty or not. Oh, yeah. Taking a class. Yeah. Taking a list. Oh. Yeah, I'm a uh, yeah, setting. Santa Claus asked for a little help this year. Are you Santa uh, dork? <laughs> well, oh, my. I will be. Yeah. You are. 
I would give special presents in the uh, chat room. Over. Promises, promises. What are you going to give Listen, me? Listen, I've, uh, I've got a lot of ducks. Ducks? I like ducks. I good. Because, uh, well, they're from Asia. I hope you're not racist. Oh, yeah, I'm a racist. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely a racist. I, I have thought you knew slow that. ducks. No. But no. I can't promise you anything. Oh no 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 no! You have Where do you problems. race up at anyway? I, I you know I've been to the tortoise tortoise race. Have you? I don't know. Tur- some turtles are really fast. You can't imagine. I can't imagine. It's not a it's not a wonder that rabbit had such a hard time. Oh yeah, the rabbit. Why did the rabbit have a hard time? Because he didn't have a gun. If he had it, would have been more fun. Oh, you are back on that. huh? So what got you all well, getting happy yeah, all of a sudden? Uh, I was just thinking about things. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all had uh, we we ran a couple little series back and forth. <laughs> That's precious. Um, precious. Oh, I'm on watch. What am I? Ah. This little girl uh. howling with uh, with a husky. Oh, okay. A video. Lisa Bizzle says I have watched this approximately. Nine million three hundred forty-five thousand seven hundred seventy-eight parts a day, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my friend, friend Gator Dude Dave, yeah, he says a condescending dog with a heart. We have to hear this. Okay. What? Well, listen. I just hear whistling of some kind. I think. Uh huh. That I. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, I'm going to copy the, the link. Okay, crazy man. You say so. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. What was the other one I did? I don't know. One? Oh, Grammy Marys. That's right. Grammy. I, I, I remember this for the notes here. Grammy's uh, um, one with the little tiny baby. Oh. And here's a little kid yeah, with, uh, with the dog, and they're like talking. Oh, uh, okay. Condescending dog. I've seen some really crazy things dogs and cats do. Boy, when, the, when, when people aren't home, the, uh, I better go to notifications. Why? To find that from Hal. Oh, for where I can retrieve this. You're notificating. Yeah, I, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, huh. the tail of the tortoise yeah. and the hair. Oh, ah. and hoof to hide the truth. Hoof, yeah, hoof and hide the truth. That's how I say. It. Yeah. But I got to scroll. Oh. Uh. Hey, there's Just Edie. Hello, Just Edie. Huh. In the notification. So it's Let's back here. Wise. You can talk, you can talk right now. I can. Oh, be clever. Me. Yeah, be clever. Mm. Uh oh. How do I do that? Help! Help! I found it. Help! Help! I what found do it. I do now? What did you find, sir? Cows with guns. <laughs> Cows with guns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, uh, yeah. how funny here. So we started uh, out with how was uh. Yes, Hal uh, tweeted to me on... Uh, okay, I get you now. Got it. It says yeah. this. Huh. If this doesn't show you how cows would avoid a tortoise, I'm not sure what else will. Hmm. One I trampled by turtles would, Hondragander. Yeah, this is uh, people... In, in, hmm. they are, and it's, they, they're quite clever when they say, utterly uh, bizarre rich uh, these trampled on by cows. Okay. And you know, I came across here was this uh, link to. to uh, hmm. Did you know that butterflies drink turtle tears? Oh, it's how, true. How would I know that? I, I so. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, maybe it's you're from NationalGeographic.com video. So butterflies drink turtle tears. Oh. And I said, think of the butterflies. You must oh. beat the turtles. Oh. Okay. And Hal says. Called me back. He said, maybe call cows with guns. Cows with guns. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Cows with guns. There was guns. a lot at stake. Yeah, there's a lot at, at stake. Yeah. Holding holders, you know, stakeholders and stocking horses. See, this is all just a kind of a continuation. of poke in the pun at the powers that be. Oh, you mean like that uh, latest Sandy hoax crap they're pulling with court? Oh, I don't even know what it is. They're going gonna, to they're gonna sue Remington, but Remington's in bankruptcy. So, 
my question is, is that another manufacturer you're going to get? You're going to lose more jobs, more businesses, blah, blah, blah. It's all part, part of like a big domino mm-hmm. game. And certain things get collapsed at certain points of the game. Well, you know what else I saw on the news this morning in uh, out of Missouri? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the name of the state is Channel 3 in Missouri up in Springfield. I have no idea. And it, its call letters are KY3. I mean, it would make sense if they were in Kentucky, but oh. who who in their right mind came up with the idea to say, yeah, KY3, that's a good name for a TV station. Because you'll remember it because you don't like it. I don't know. No, I mean, I'm just thinking. You're really, the one talking about it, really, so you re- remembered it. Anyways. Okay, yeah, never they mind. To, okay. I told you what I thought, and then you don't like it. Okay. Be that way. Big bully. I'm going to be all sad now, Vinny. They, part of the news was that there <laughs> were thousands and thousands of jobs being created yeah. out of the cannabis industry. And I think what was Grimner was talking about people going to college now for... <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, crap. After all those years of lying to us, now, now they're telling another story. And huh. and nobody calls, calls them bullshit. It's like, wait a minute. You know what my response was to this jo- all this job industry on cannabis? Let them that out of prison. All this for money, all the no, money that they taken for these people, and that they're going to be making, and all that being you know stripped off along the way. I'm just half to you actually putting a puff up your pucker <laughs> and pulling. That how much money is that going to cost to you, the the person that is uh, participating in? This perfectly good plant. So I mean, what? Yeah. Oh, you can smoke weed, but you you pay cost you a lot. Is that how that should work? How what should? How do I know how things should work? What does that even mean? Come on, Dan. Well, you said it first. It was not okay, and now it's okay. What's not okay? You get you Cannabis. lost me in all that. Cannabis. Look, it's been made illegal by a bunch of idiot people. You know, it, it's all, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not doing anything to anyone. I'm smoking a freaking plant. So in my mind, that's not a crime. Don't attract the law to it because I'm not doing anything to anyone. So to be, you know, a victim of the state thing, you got to be involved in it. you got to draw them to you. They know who they're looking for. Okay. Well, that was my short answer. So apparently it didn't impress Vinny at all. Ooh. Because he's noodling cod in a chili bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Did I write that down? Noodling cod in it. You wrote it chili yeah, bowl. you wrote it in the uh, in the wire notes. Yeah, because I, I, <laughs> I came up right. with a spy versus spy crap, and then you added to it. So I sent Grim a copy of the notes from my bit. The time's up. Or, oh wow, we're almost so, up. So I've got it. I've written some stuff down here. That's what I mean. So copy. anything else that you want to put in, you got to deal with Grim for it, because I have nothing to do with that. It's out of I'll my control to, at this I, time, Vincent. I. I have to send uh, send them in the email because uh, we're not going to – we'll want them to be, come together. Can you – do you think that Stallone would make a good vice president? Uh, only if uh, – to Trump? Well, he would make <laughs> Trump look smart. I mean, for once, Trump wouldn't look like the second guy. He's not world-renowned for his brilliance fucking mind. He's kind of a a parody. <laughs> here's uh here's one of the readout news. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's no Wrong. Ribbit. It's an hour long oh that's uh that's Eric Parker there. Ribbit. From Readout News, the uh, property rights organization uh La La Well L A C L E D E, Laclede meeting. Yeah. 
Uh, it was just published on YouTube from Readout News, and you also find Readout News on Twitter and by the name website.com. Readout News, all rights reserved. That's a longer story there where all that came about. Sherry's a, I, I really like Sherry Duvalli. Duvalli, she's a, I, I call an inspiration and definitely a determiner, determiner part of it in uh, my presentation as a member of the media. I gave him a click for a thumbs up without review. Me? So I'll have to go to my history, too. Yeah, yeah. my note. I, ask Grim how I do notes. What, he, what I call it, Grim? Good notes? He doesn't follow them. So. Oh, boy. Spy versus spy. Spy versus. I stole it from that cartoon. Yeah, uh, black and white. Yeah. And then you added, or can a bank own a politician? I, I or think did I uh, add that? Stuff. No, I added that. You added the noodling caught in a chili bowl. <laughs> yeah, noodling caught in a chili bowl. Yes. Beautiful, Vinny. Um, there, that's going to make sense to everybody. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, up Listen, front, I'll, in person. All you can do is uh, search it out for yourself. All you can do is look at it and shake your head. Who's going to oh, yeah. search? Who is going to search noodling cod in a chili bowl? Who wants that crap on their browser? The NSA's going to They'll be sending tr trucks to people's houses to check them out for mental instability if they put that in a browser. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> the bread is a lie. I must remember that. But still, remember the words you, you couldn't say because the NSA was spying on us. Cloud. <laughs> personally, I <laughs> look forward to our future noodling cod in a chilling bowl uh, overlords. Really? And why is that, sir? You seem I like you want to talk really, about but it. Mark Pickerridge would say that if he really say that which well i don't think it he, he, i think he actually will just because it sounds so like dystopian yeah Doesn't it? I don't know. What? what i why would there be caught in a chili bowl sir yeah and who would noodle it i wouldn't it makes no sense absolutely vincent you. you finally you see and you've answered your own question can i ask you a question i hope so uh, will you hold on just a second? No, I will Don't not. Even. Absolutely not. Noodling caught in a chili bowl doesn't Water. make sense on purpose. Water. That's kind of mean. Vinny's Vinny and me, and he's singing in the background. <laughs> the uh, musical interlude portion of In a Perfect World. Okay, Vinny, we got the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Oh, hey. Stop, stop. You do Okay, Elvis Water. has Water. left the building. Vinny. Hello. Yeah, wow. Did you bump your head again? You're starting to frighten me, son. You're frightening me. I'm scared. I'm scared. My boy, I don't have a I'm afraid for my life. Just like a cop. I hey, got a big, if, I got a big white hat. If, how come nobody shoots at the cops first? Going, I'm afraid for my life, and then shoots at the cops. But it seems the cops are always doing it, and then they go, "I was afraid for my life." I think they're full of shit. What do you think? I don't know. Well, come on. If you're a big tough guy and you go out in the world and you earn your money with a gun and you're all tough and all that <laughs> shit, well, how so can you still you be a pussy right. that's afraid? Of you? I mean, you know, when I when I was in Las Las Vegas before huh. I come back, when I went and bought my ticket, remember that night? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah. We're almost Listen, when I when I when I approached that cop, what I did was is I held my hands up and out a little bit. Mm. And holding my phone and kind of just like nodded and like took it and saying, look, I'm not armed. I'm approaching you. And he kind of looked at me like, ah, oh, come on, man. Really? 
I, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, really, I'm not wanting to do anything that is going to trigger uh, any kind of, like, pussiness like, out of you, sir. You can't you even tell smart, him that. Man. I don't want you to be you a pussy like, and shoot me. You can't be like, I got my hand behind my back. What do you, do you have some kind of weird I, idea that it takes a brave guy? I'm telling guy? you. Hey, listen, I'm just telling you what reality is. Yeah, but you, you think it's all brave to want. shoot somebody? Huh? 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 Listen, I got a different question. Yes, the fact, question. Is, the fact yeah. is, thing the things that happen happen. So yeah. what are you going to do to stop that from happening? Right? I don't if you're know. Walking, if you're walking the Appalachian Trail, yeah. Why would I do a thing like that? Really? Because it's beautiful and yeah. That's why I don't do it. People you meet out there are pretty, pretty amazing too. Yeah. Well, I don't live there, so I can't do it. Shout out to Wonder Woman. It's out of my league now, Vinny. Thank you. She hiked the whole trail. She Mm. went hiking on all kinds of trails since Mm. then. Yeah, I guess it is very addictive for some. Mm. You get bit by the trail bug. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know my trail name? Uh, Vinny the Spine? No. no. Too, far. Too, far. Too far. Too far. Too far gone. The endless time zone. I Did still I think I still think that time and space travel and all that crap is very entertaining. Time travel and wonderful stories, but boy, people are lame if they think it's real. But it could be real in your head and not real to me. <laughs> so we've always got that to play with. You know, like you could come to the show Saturday to the dark table thing, I and so. you could claim that in the last few days you were in 1874 in the Revolution. I'm from the 1900s. Or wait, 1774. That was the wrong revolution. <laughs> yeah, there was a... Vincent Easley in 1860. Yeah, but see, you got a couple of days to go time travel, and then Saturday come to the dork table and tell us what happened. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> well, you got four days. Make them good. I'm gonna need more time. You no, 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 no. That's uh, you told me you believe now. You'll, I didn't you'll tell you that. Yeah. What I tell you? I told you that it's all made up bullshit. He said no, it isn't. So time yep. travel. I, no, I said I'm tired. Ty- time. I'm through time right now. Uh, Look, nah, nah, nah. We ain't got time watch. for your series. I, no, you want to no. hear? You uh, want to hear me speak what? from the past? No. What I want you to do is go back Listen to, to 1774 the and come back and tell me what happened in 1774. How am I going to do that? I don't know. You're going to have to have a better plan. I don't think it's possible to do it. You'll never get to the White House with this kind of I don't want to get to the White House. You know, they got got scummy people living in that place. A bunch of murdering thieves. So Trump is getting impeached or they're having uh, what? Who cares? I don't care if they barbecue the prick. It doesn't fucking matter. The people that run this shit are not Trump. Trump is just a front man for a really bad band. Get over it. That's something else I heard on the TV today. What? The ambassador, I forget her name. She used to be a governor, I think, of uh, I don't know what state, but she wrote a book, and uh, she was talking about Trump and uh, mm. talking to the Ukrainians. And it wasn't a holdout or, you know, to uh, investigate Biden, whatever. That's why they're trying to uh, impeach him. Yeah, I but guess. we're you know we're so deep in this corrupt government crap that everybody's just okay with that. It's a corrupt government; they just accept it. I, I think what the past has shown us on impeachment process is it really doesn't mean anything. No, it's a piece of paper. And we're coming up to the end of the show, Mister. Are you kidding me? No, two minutes. Do you support impeachment? Oh wait a minute, or? right? Oh wait, we started yeah. at seven or eight. Yeah, it's going to be nine. Started o'clock. two it's, hours. Yeah, it's going to be nine o'clock in two minutes, Mister. I could do my math if I slow down. <laughs> ah, what a day! Yeah. Right, well, I want you to read us the schedule. Can you read it out I, of your mind? 
Uh, no, I haven't done. I stopped uh, reading okay. the schedule. Thursday so night, can. we've got uh, the Pooch and Prince, uh, Prince. Prince. Yeah, Pooch and Prince Power Hour. Power Hour. Uh, Friday, I'm not still not doing radio, but uh, Friday night, we've got the uh, Freakers Ball. Y'all, come on along and get your freedom on. Well, Saturday is your dorking time. At the dork table. And Sunday, we've got Hal Anthony, preceded by Fast Fingers Trivia. And the blues is Grimner. Grimner! Yeah. Some tunes out here through the yeah. airwaves, right here at reallibertymedia.com. Come on back for the leftovers Monday night and Tuesday again here for in a perfect world where we're contrasting the occupation. Night and day, people. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, doing the show tonight, Vince. Thank you. I had like fun. You. I did too. I always do. And I'd like to remind you to be careful while noodling caught in a chili bowl. Good night, everybody. Night, every night.